industrial sector is the backbone of our nation's progress. And with the progress comes the responsibility to safeguard the infrastructure. Today, we are going to meet a winning team whose triumph in the Smart India Hackathon 2023 is not just a victory for themselves, but a significant milestone in advancing safety measures within our industrial landscapes. Let's meet Vineet and Dheeraj. Welcome to the show, Vineet and Dheeraj. Please introduce yourself to us first. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. I am Vinny Jain, currently pursuing my bachelor's in computer science engineering at Chandigarh University. I am the founder and a programmer and startup profit. And now Dheeraj will talk about himself. Oh, so, yeah. Myself is Dheeraj, and I am also pursuing my bachelor's degree from Chandigarh University. Currently, I am start, I'm in like second year, and I am also working as a part time developer for a US based organization, Tikuntech. Great. So you two participated along with your team in the Smart India Hackathon 2023 and came up as winners. So wonderful. Congratulations for that. Now, when you came up with that winning formula or the winning uh, solution, uh, let's start talking about that. So before we go on to the solution, let's talk about the problem. So what is the problem area that you you know dealt with? So the uh, currently the problem in the industry is that uh, you know in industrial settings there is a deadly uh, threat that is gas leakage, and you know industries uses hazardous substances in, uh, that chemicals that are when released in air can cause significant harm to people. There were many cases in uh, past the, like Bihar and uh, in other countries as well where the gas leaked overnight, and people couldn't even know, and by the morning that caused a lot of deaths so the industry owners factory people the managers they even didn't, didn't know about the gas leak that happened and people and media got to know way after it was too late for the you know ambulances and healthcare uh, facilities to be informed so we have created a solution that targets on fixing this and spreading the information very fast so that before something happens like gas leakage or fire, we can notify people and the factory owners that has happened. Indeed, that is certainly a very, very critical area and who would have forgotten Bhopal gas strategies back then? That tragedy was like, you know, that shook the nation and I wish we had something like uh, the solution that you have come up with. And uh, it certainly is going to be a path-breaking uh, solution, I'm sure. So. Uh, Please tell us about, you know, how did you start working on this particular uh, solution and uh, what impact do you think it's going to make? We had the PS1505 which uh, targets or I mean specifies on aerial hazard. We were thinking on how to, we can provide the solution which can save life. Our main motto was to save life. You know, it's better to uh, prevent fire than fighting fire. So our main motto was to prevent the gas leakage from happening. Most of the factories already have sensors and all installed, but they are not digitized. So we have provided a software solution to digitize those application and provide the data to the industry owners real time. So they can know even a slightly change in data like gas leakage, they will be notified in the app and they can instantly go and fix it and stop it. So that, that is the main part that we have, we are preventing before it is occurring. But we have also created a machine learning model which predicts the gas leakage. You know, when a gas leaks in the air, it spreads in the entire area. We need a proper machine learning model to predict for in which direction and up to how far that gas leak will occur. So we have made a list of factors that determines how much the gas will leak, like temperature, humidity, the landscape of the area. It is a fact, uh, you know, open land or uh, it is in between multiple buildings. So we have uh, counted all those factors and created a machine learning model that predicts the zone, a danger zone in which the gas will be leaked. So people can get notified of that area and stay away from that area. Okay, great. That sounds really wonderful. And uh, in the era of, you know, Bhopal gas tragedy, this would have certainly made a lot of difference. So now tell me, how does it really work? So uh, when the gas is leaked, the sensor triggers a, uh, you know, the sensor in each, suppose a gas cylinder is there, it has sensors installed that continuously checks the pressure in the cylinder and also have the data of which kind of gas is this and its density and all. So whenever a gas is leaked, it triggers a 
API to the out to our backend and sends the data about how much gas is leaked at what rate the gas is leaking and the all information about the gas. And in the backend, we have a machine learning server, which uh, Python server, which predicts from that data that what gas is leaked, and according to that gas leak, we predict the uh, danger zone, which is around that area. Okay, once that leakage is detected and your it comes to your system, then what what happens yeah. next? Like, do you uh, you know put this up this information somewhere, or a person needs to access your platform to get this information? How does it work after that? Basically, once we get the notification that the gas is leaked in our database or in our system, then first step we will do, we will predict the area and we will map that area to the user application, which is to all the like industry workers, industry employer, manager and all. Also, apart from this, whenever a gas is leaked in certain amount of area, so we will be also collaborating with the local network provider like ATL, PSN and all. So what we will do, we will notify them to, by means of like SMS or some kind of messaging app so that the common people also can get to know that this happens here. Okay, so does one need to subscribe to this kind of a thing or how, how is it available to common masses or the industrial no, masses? No, there is no kind of subscription at all and it is open source. Our application will be available on Play Store. Everyone can like down, download that. And apart from the application also, if you don't have, if you do not have access to our application, you can also get benefit of this. Because we will be collaborating, as I already mentioned, we will be collaborating with the local area provider, local network provider. So if some kind of tragedy, some kind of hazard happens to your area or location, so you will be notified. So here is the application that is available to everyone from Play Store or iOS Store. They can download it. So once they download it, they have a, a page for sign up. So they can enter their details and according to their area, they will get an industry ID. So if they are living in Bhopal in certain area, they, each and every industries will have their own IDs. So when they sign up, they will enter the industry ID here. So once the sign up is complete, we also take the skills of that people. So in case of, uh, suppose a fire has occurred and healthcare service cannot reach on time. So we can contact these people and based on their skills, we can get help from local people as well. So here is the application. So it is currently showing that a gas is leaked in this area and this is the red zone, which is the danger zone. And this orange zone is the, means it is kind of hazard zone, but outside that, that is the safe zone. Basically our machine learning model and gives us two part of areas. One, which is like intensely affected, like 100% affected. And second area is like, it might be affected or not might be affected. It's like 50 50 chances. I guess every gas leakage would have a different uh, level of potency. So, is the application also able to manage that a certain gas will be, you know, less deadly than the other one? So, your hazard yeah, area takes that into account? Yeah, yes, I, sir, yes. yeah, that's what we are like working on right now because we know each gas has like its own height, its own weight, its own like density and also for that kind of reason we are working on that we are preparing our machine learning model to work on like each and every individual gas part so that uh, in future we will be implementing that with the application of it you are trying to update a certain feature in there so what else are you like you know working on right now to make this even better yeah so right now we are like gathering a team for like some chemist people so those people will help us to understand understand more about the gases the factors which we are not aware about uh, gases, they will help us to like know about the gases and they will help us to prepare our data set. So after preparing that data set, we will be implementing that data set in our machine learning model and improving it. Basically right now we are like uh, constructing our own data set or why we are testing different different gases. We are manually spreading them. We are manually putting the like temperature, manually putting the wind speed and all and like testing different kind of scenarios and preparing the data set. So once that part of knowledge comes to you, once you know you have a better understanding of gases and how uh, these operate, then you'll make this application even more robust. And at that point, probably you would want to you know implement that uh, in the actual field conditions. Am I right? Yes, sir. There are several other features as well in the app. Like if you are the manager of the factory and you are not in the factory, 
so you can open the app and check your emergency contact list and contact the emergency services fast from the app on directly also our app directly contacts to the hospitals fire office and police station so whenever a hazard situation occur the app already sends the notification to each and every uh, you know healthcare services and all also in the app there the managers can see the real time sensor status like all the sensors are working correctly or not and the pressure of each gases and everything this data is updated live they can control the sensors as well from the app like if they want the doors closed or ventilation open they can directly do that from the app so these sensors that we are talking about they are the ones which are already existing in the any industrial setup right or are you putting uh, planning to put your own sensors there which are compatible with your application very common in the uh, you know in the industry but they are all working in offline mode they are not digitized so we are just digitizing those sensor and putting the data on the application and controlling the sensors from the application so basically you will be using the existing sensors which are there in the industrial yes, setup sir. already right yes sir okay so if i may ask uh, how much more time do you need to you know bring this application or bring this you know solution to the real world scenario i think uh, it's like this is hard to like give you sir like like approx time also so because we are like quite slow in the process because you need to understand that the dealing with the gases like it's little bit like more complex task the most uh, important part of the application is the machine learning model and that model needs a data set and so creating that data set is the time taking part overall the application is ready so to make the this uh, hazard zone clear more accurate we need the machine learning model to be better okay so in the end i would uh, like to ask you what impact do you expect your application to make in the real world scenario when you actually implement it on ground so when the application is uh, you know the live in live it will help mostly in preventing any situation from occur our main motto was that so that this never happens such like bhopal gas strategy it should have never happened if the application was existing people could have got notified about the hazard that has occurred and they could have run away from the area so that is the main part we will be notifying and spreading the information very fast you know through social media and uh, notifications and alerts yeah of course uh, rightly said i mean if you are able to avert those kind of tragedies they can't be anything better which can be given to the as a gift to the industrial world so great guys it was yes. really nice talking to you and understanding the solution that you provided for industrialized setup of the country and i'm sure it's going to immensely help the infrastructure that we have built over a period of time and which is helping the economy of the country and you're trying to protect that very infrastructure wonderful i wish you all the best and Thank i wish that this particular application this particular solution sees light of the day very very soon if not uh, much later thank you so much for joining us today thank you so and uh, we wish you all you, the sir. best in an era where technological advancements are shaping industries this team has demonstrated a profound understanding of the critical importance of fire safety in industrial settings their winning project is a testament to their ingenuity and commitment to addressing the unique challenges associated with industrial safety we will meet another ingenious team in the coming edition watch out for this space